a methodology was developed to integrate not only planned learning but also emergent learning. For example, a nurse is by the bed sees a problem with a particular a rash, for example, when they've just given a treatment, take a photo of it, share it with the other nurses, and discuss it in real time. Um, I won't say more about that. There you have the website. It's called Smile On. Smile hyphen on. Uh, that's the website. Um, serious games. The serious games uh, field is... Uh, has developed to uh, respond to the need for uh, businesses particularly to understand the value of a game-based approach to uh, learning. And although, uh, although it might be said that it would be better to say just games and sell that idea, the idea of serious games has been a kind of a way of sugaring the pill for people who think that games are not serious and they can't have them in their environment. But serious games have a problem in that they aren't, they aren't particularly widely adopted especially in education as opposed to the business sector. And so this, uh, this particular project is a K3 network in the Lifelong Learning Programme aimed at promoting the use of and knowledge of serious games in education. Um, it's aimed at three different target groups, which you can see coming up there. Sorry, it's in Spanish. Um, the, uh, there are researchers, there are teachers, and there are developers. Those are the three key target groups in this field. That network is open to anyone. It's, uh, it's, it has a whole set of conversations, a whole set of resources, and a whole set of activities, such as webinars. We're about to do a, something that's similar to a MOOC, and there are conferences and summer schools uh, which are fairly interesting. I would recommend you come and have a look at that. Last project is called Global Excursion. And I'm going to have the problem with PowerPoint again, I think which is uh, it's based on the idea of e-excursions in science education. The idea is to enhance uh, science teaching in European schools by bringing the labs and the scientific activity into the school using technology. Uh, will I get this? If and the other side of that coin is that it's offering uh, researchers and their institutions a way of promoting their activity to a particularly important target group, which is school children. Um, I'll just show you the website. They have a, a so to speak, template for creating what they call e-excursions. I'll just show you. Um, and here you have on their website, it's called Vishub. Um, they have a series of different, hey, what's happened? I have to kill PowerPoint, I think. They, uh, the website has a series of different, uh, what they call excursions, which are like little um, presentations that actually link in very often with webcams to the lab or wherever the work is being doing, or use simulations to show how that works. And in fact, these, are, these are, they have a template for designing these. It's a very simple, rather like Excel learning or something like that, for uh, creating them. And right now, if you're interested, they have a competition for that, which... Uh, which um, is worth promoting. The, 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 it's a competition. That the deadline is at the end of this month, I believe. I will stop there because uh, we'll get, we will run out of time. There are other projects to talk about. We talked about trailer as well yesterday, um, and uh, and all the work that's been done there. And I know that because we've run out of time, Miguel Angel hasn't been able to come up and and uh, talk about it. I could go on uh, talking and talking, but we've run out of time. I would say that uh, in support of what Dai was saying, that the ITEC project is perhaps one of the most interesting and important projects in terms of education and technology in Europe at the moment, and it's well worth having a look at. Okay? And I say that from the point of view of an evaluator of the project, so, so I know. Okay, thanks very much. I think this has been a very interesting morning and a very interesting conference, and I think that uh, we should uh, be congratulating the Grial, the Youthe, and particularly Lucia and her <laughs> team, who have done an incredible job making all this happen. So to Lucia and all of you, congratulations. <laughs>